See you soon, bats. <laughs> oh. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Strike and welcome back to Batman Arkham City. In the last episode, we defeated Deadshot and we have trapped him in this thing below us. And now, we are heading off to go do another side mission, which is known as the Identity Theft side mission. Let's go ahead and take a look. Tiger Command, this is Air Tiger 7. We are approaching the designated location. The alleyway is empty. Thermal scans show no activity. Hold on. There's a body. It appears to be naked. Heat traces. Not been dead long. Oh, jeez. It looks like someone's cut off his face. Most unusual. Continue with your patrol, Captain. None of the inmates match this MO. I presume it to be merely a territorial dispute. A message, perhaps. Affirmative. Okay, so... We've got a body with no face. I wonder who could be behind that. It's probably obvious from the thumbnail, but for the sake of people watching the video, I'm not going to say anything until it happens, because it's pretty big. How come no one told me? It's pretty big in terms of who it is in the game. I should scan the crime scene to determine the cause of death. The the tape said he was naked, but he's wearing pants. The victim's face has been removed and the head wrapped in bandages. There have been three murders in Gotham over the last month with the same M.O. The press have nicknamed the killer the Identity Thief. If he's now in Arkham City, I need to track him down and stop him. Scan this blood stain. The attack left the victim bleeding profusely. The murderer is likely to have trace elements of the blood on them without realizing. I'll filter the scanner to track the victim's blood particles. That should lead me to the last person to see the victim alive. Maybe even the killer himself. Okay, there's an easier way to tra trace the blood, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to actually follow it for once. I don't think I've followed it like this since I probably first played the game. We're gonna have to take care of these guys. Just go ahead and take care of these. And that was easy. Wanted to do that quickly. Why did you kill him? It wasn't me. I'm not a killer. I'm a plumber, for God's sake. You've got to believe me. I don't have to believe anything. Tell me what you saw. There was this guy. He dropped the body there. He was weird looking. You won't believe me, but... Well, he looked like Bruce Wayne. What? I know. Someone must have got to him. He was covered in cuts and bruises, but I'm sure it was him. The poor guy must have had a target the size of Gotham City painted on him. Looked like he'd been attacked by pretty much everyone in Arkham. All right, there so we gotta go find someone who apparently... the identity thief in Arkham City. I should look out for them. All right, we're gonna find some more leads, and I know where they all are, but... They don't mark them on the map, so that it's basically you gotta look for them yourself. And by the way, just drop down here for a sec. I am playing. I am playing in the Earth One Batman skin. It's a pretty underrated skin. It's not my favorite skin of them all, but um, it is a pretty cool skin. Uh, I do enjoy wearing it every once in a while. Not something I'd normally wear, but. This skin. I'll wear it a couple times in my Let's Play. Okay. Uh oh, we got another body down here. The texture's been all low res for a sec for some reason. Looks like another victim of the identity thief. I need to scan the area to see if there are any more clues to his identity and whereabouts. The M.O. is the same as for the previous victim. First, the killer paralyzes the vocal cords and then removes the face before bandaging up the head. 
It's definitely him, and it looks like he's stepping up his attacks. A crime with this level of precision requires weeks of premeditation. These aren't just random attacks. Yikes. We're dealing with a grade A psycho here. Oracle, I've reconstructed a clean set of fingerprints, but there's no match to anything in the Gotham criminal databases. I'm uploading the prints to you now. Check these against every record in the country. Batman, I found a match for the print, but there must be a mistake. This can't be correct. Who do the prints belong to? You. These are Bruce Wayne's fingerprints. How is that possible? I have no idea. Oh, yeah. Bruce, I don't know how to say this, but... What's wrong, Barbara? I've been thinking about the identity theft case. Don't get angry. But how can you actually be sure that it wasn't you who killed those people? I mean, they were your fingerprints at the scene. What did you say? Not intentionally, but clearly you're not well. That place is full of maniacs who could take advantage of a situation like that. Think about it. What if Crane got to you again? You know Strange's reputation. Maybe he planted the idea back when you met him. I don't like it, but... It wasn't me. I'm sure it wasn't. Yeah, of course. I'm sorry. I just, well, you know. Yeah, okay. Whatever you say, Oracle. Grapple up to this ledge. We're gonna go find the last... last body. Or one of the last. Well, I think it is the last, actually. Oh, this isn't the right... Anyway. Here we are. Another victim. Sooner or later the killer will slip up. Let's hope it's this time. Alright. As with the others, the victim's face was removed pre-mortem with surgical precision. The care taken suggests the killer is more concerned with the parts he's taking than what he leaves behind. Someone has taken a lot of care to cover their tracks. They used bleach to destroy any forensic evidence at the crime scene. Sometimes the lack of evidence is all you need. I'll filter for particles of the bleach and see who was so determined to cover their tracks. Alright, so once again we are following a trail. This brings us back to the good old days of asylum when there was a lot of this tracking and running around and stuff not a whole lot of that in this game but there is some of it I guess Arkham City needs a new water it's Batman! bye guys I don't have time for you Ow. You killed that man and dumped his body back there. Why did you take his face? It wasn't me. I just dumped the body. He told me to use bleach to clean it up. Who told you? Wayne. You know, the rich guy. You're lying to me. I'm not. There's an alley near the courtroom. That's where he is. He's crazy, man. You don't want to go in there. Yeah, his head was kind of going through the snow there. All right. I know. All right. Not the character switch point. Identity thief's hideout. Well, that guy's knocked out cold. Let's head over and see what our friend, the identity thief, has in store for us. wasn't as an epic fall as I thought it would be, would have been. But anyway, let's enter this hidden hideout place area thing and find out who's in here. Hmm. Okay, that's kind of weird. Let's 
Let's listen to this journal. This is the journal of Dr. Thomas Elliot. My work is complete. The pain, though still present, has been worth it. He will suffer for what he did to me. He will suffer the way I have suffered. As I look in the mirror, I understand how Leonardo felt when he finished the Mona Lisa. How Michelangelo felt when David was complete. My work has taken too long. But now it's time for my masterpiece to be unveiled. My new face is ready. I couldn't have put it better myself. I take it you're here to stop me? What do you think? I think you're too late. You're a killer, a psychopath. I will stop you. Really? But you look just like Bruce Wayne. It took time, of course, to find the perfect donors, to graft on the flesh, and finally to lose myself in order to create this. Six people die. Unfortunate, but necessary, to complete my plan. Why would you believe good old-fashioned revenge? <clears throat> to be honest, I don't care if you do. Wayne will suffer. And you will not stop me. I can see you have your hands full with Arkham City, but it's time for me to leave now. Pray we do not meet again. Next time, I will not be in such a generous mood. Okay, so that was Hush. Thomas Elliot was a child friend of Bruce Wayne and things kind of went wrong and Thomas Elliot wanted to take out Bruce Wayne so he's going to do that he's going to destroy Bruce Wayne's reputation by becoming Bruce Wayne himself close the file on the identity thief oracle have you caught him no prepare a new file on Dr. Thomas Elliot i'm uploading all the details from his surgery elliot the famous surgeon? Didn't you used to be friends? We were. A long time ago. So he was the identity thief? Hang on. This says he used the faces he collected to make a new one that looked like yours. I mean, Bruce Wayne's. Is he crazy? Uh, no offense. Are you going after him? He's gone. He's left Arkham City. I'll hunt him down tomorrow. It never made sense to me, and I think a lot of people are on the same boat. It doesn't make sense how Hush just vanishes from Arkham City. He somehow is able to leave, and Batman's just like, no, I'll deal with him later. But, like, it doesn't really make sense. Alright, let's look at this bio, actually. Um, Thomas Elliot and Bruce Wayne were childhood friends, and unknown to Bruce, dark reflections of each other. A childhood psychopath, or sociopath, sorry, Elliot tried to kill his parents so he could control their fortune. When his plan failed due to surgical skills of Thomas, due to the surgical skills of Thomas Wayne, Bruce's father, Elliot, Blamed the Wayne family for his problems. An incredibly gifted surgeon as an adult, Elliot has spent decades planning an elaborate revenge scheme to destroy Bruce Wayne. Also, it is um, in the comics. Um, I, I don't want to see this. Let me look at the dang upgrade. All right. Screw that. We got one upgrade. Let's go with... Go with the free flow power gadgets. That that'll be cool. Um, apparently, ac according to the Arkham Unhinged comics, Thomas Elliot was also responsible for detaching the uh, Abramovich twins, the Siamese twins, like that Joker in Penguin Control. Yeah, he um, he apparently cut them in half. But that is going to be it for this episode of Batman Arkham City. Um, We've got a few side missions left. Let's see. We've got the Cold Call Killer side mission. Let's actually take a look at what we know. Um, we've pretty much got... Let's take a look here. Yeah, we ha we've just done. We've just finished the Identity Thief mission. The Identity Theft mission. Then we have the 
uh, unknown mission it's, that is called the Cold Call Killer mission. We haven't started the, That's what the phones ringing all around this place have been about. And then we have AR training, which as you can see is at 60% because I haven't done the uh, next versions, like the next wave of them. And then I do want to get Catwoman's Riddler trophies. But that's probably going to be after I start the rest of the Riddler uh, conundrum. And then after that, it's all Riddler stuff. Everything is Riddler things. Collecting trophies, scanning riddles, and then I'll do separate videos for each of the different s the hostages. But I won't get into that right now. That's for another video. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe for more Batman Arkham City content. And I will see you all in the next video. Now that the video's over, what are you going to do? Uh, like, favorite, comment, and subscribe.